Today I will give an overview of the recently released uh, data migration framework for AX 2012. With the release of AX 2012, uh, Microsoft has gone to great effort to normalize the data as much as possible. Uh, this has resulted um, in making the import of data much more difficult. For example, the custom information in that stores in more than nine tables. It was therefore important to create a tool to facilitate the process of migrating data to uh, the new release of AX. The Data Migration Framework, or DMF, does not come uh, pre-installed with the installation of AX. Uh, you first have to download the tool from, from the Microsoft website and install it. When installed, the system will create a new module, just like any other module, called the Data Migration Framework. The system comes preloaded with uh, many target entities or templates that are ready to use. Uh, for example, here assets, bombs, customers, customers' address, and so on. This, there's quite a few. You also have the ability to create new ones if necessary. Um, and uh, Microsoft created a wizard for that purpose. That's that's pretty easy to use. The DMF tool supports several source data format, like text, delimited or fixed length, or or DBC connection, or even other AX uh, installation. Let's now look at the processing groups, which in concept are similar to uh, the definition groups in previous version of AX. Uh, for this demonstration, we will import a customer record. I already created a processing group for it. And if we click on Entities, this is where we can attach uh, the entity or the template we want to use for this import. So I've attached the customer entity and also the customer address entity. Um, let me remind you that these entities are pre-loaded templates, so I did not create anything custom here. I've selected a source data format of CSV, so we will be importing from a file, a CSV file. And for, and for each of the templates or entities, I've indicated where um, the file is located. If we don't have a file, we can use the tool to generate a source file, a source template to use as a guide. And we can use this wizard to create a new one or uh, use an existing one. I'll, do, I'll use the existing one here. And it's all we have to do here is select uh, which field that are present in the source file. If we already have a file, we, we can just generate the source mapping. So the system will actually read the file and create a mapping for it. Then modify or view the source mappings. Here we have a visual representation of the mapping between the source file and the staging table. The staging table is an intermediate AX table, which is a flat representation of uh, the customer information. So we can review the, the mapping here. We can modify it by dragging and dropping a source field to a staging field. Or if we prefer, we can view this in a grid view and do the mapping this way. Let's close the mapping. And let's take a look at the actual files and look at the data. I open up the files in Excel to make it easier to read. You can see we have a record here for the for the, uh, the customer. And these are all the files that all the fields that correspond to the source mapping. And we also can take a look at the address files. Have three different address records here. And really, the only thing that is common between the two is the customer account number in this case. So it's very easy to, to relate 
and uh, the DMF tool will take care of all the uh, the relations in AX 2012. So let's close the file and return to AX. We can also preview the data directly from the um, the processing group by clicking on preview source file. This is for the customer entity. We can also do the same thing with the address. Here you go. We can also uh, look at the target mapping. So we we reviewed the source to staging mapping. We can also view the staging to target mapping. Target is the actual um, tables on the AX side and the view is similar than the source to, to staging mapping except that uh, we can see there are some functions that Microsoft provided to uh, create the different related tables in AX that are used with the customer and the address records. So we have two types of mapping, straight field to field mapping and also um, fields that, that, are, that go through functions to create uh, records in a target area. These uh, staging to target mappings are actually generated by the system, so it's not something that you normally have to do unless you, you have customized um, the various entities here. Okay, so let's close the mapping here, the target mapping, and also let's close the entity form and uh, we're going to start processing the data. So we are going to bring the data from the source file into the staging area, which is the intermediate tables. So I'll do that by clicking on Get Staging Data. And the system creates a job ID for that. It's unique for each time you process that. And we can give it a, a description. So I'll, I'll call it Test1. And I'll click OK. OK, so this system brings the two entities uh, in the framework and I also have the option of reviewing the data even at this stage so before our import into staging in this case I will just simply click on run to um, import the data into the staging table it can also be scheduled or run real time or run real time here Okay, I receive a message that uh, the system has created one record in a cu in customer and three record in customer address. We can now review the results in the staging area by uh, clicking on execution history, and we'll choose the customer entity and view the staging data. So we're actually now looking at the actual data in the staging table. And uh, we can review the data, and even if necessary, we can actually edit it. Um, the system provides us the ability to validate the data here. So let's validate the record, or all records if we have multiple. OK, and I see that we have an error in the data. And it says value seven does not exist in sales pool okay so we can go and look for the sales pool field here on the customer record and see if we can fix the data okay here it is here um, the system will provide lookup for fields that are based on on uh, tables so I can look up the correct value and here uh, 7 did not, does not exist, but we're looking for 0, 7. So we'll choose that, and we'll validate the record again. The validation is now successful, and I'm ready to um, import this data into the target tables. So we'll close that. Close the review form. And now we are ready to um, copy the data to target. So th this will copy the data and populate the actual customer-related tables in AX. 
Um, I will run this for all, but you also help the, the tool has the ability to actually update a record. So not only uh, the system will create new records, but also update existing tables, or existing records rather. So we'll click for all, and click on OK, and then run. System has created records in target. We can close that. Can now view the staging data again and view the status, which is completed. From here, actually, I can click on target to actually go to the to the record that uh, the system created uh, in the customer master. So let's click on that. This is the actual record in AX, customer record with all the data. Uh, that came from the, the source file and target file. If we look at the addresses, we can see all the address records that were created. All the different contact information as well, and all the, uh, the, yeah, the default um, data, like, like terms of payments, and method of payment, and, and so on. Once we review the data and everything is OK, uh, the DMF tool provides a, a periodic function to clean up the staging data um, so we can uh, uh, process additional imports for the uh, similar entities or other templates if necessary. And this concludes this uh, overview and demonstration of the new DMF tool in AX. Good luck.